আমার জন্য পরস্পর পরস্পরকে তোমরা যারা ভালোবেসেছি কোথায় তোমরা আজকে আমার আরশের ছায়ার নিচে তোমাদেরকে আমি স্থান দিব এরপরে তিনি বলছেন আর ওইভাবে যারা আল্লাহর জন্য পরস্পর পরস্পরকে ভালোবাসে তাদের জন্য নূরের মেম্বর বানাই দিবেন কেমন তোমাদের আল্লাহ পান সেখানে তারা বসবে এবং আল্লাহর জন্য কেউ কাউকে ভালোবাসলে পরে যে মর্যাদা দেওয়া হবে কেয়ামতের ময়দানে তা দেখে শহীদরা নবীরা পর্যন্ত ঈর্ষা করবে জেলা স্পিল করবে কি পরিমাণ রিওয়ার্ড তাদেরকে আল্লাহ ভাগ দিবেন আল্লাহর বান্দা আল্লাহর বান্দিরা আল্লাহর ওয়াস্তে কোনো আল্লাহর জন্য ভাই ভাই হয়ে যায় তাদের কাত মিলিয়ে আল্লাহর জন্য আমরা পরস্পর পরস্পরকে ক্ষমা করে দিই আল্লাহর জন্য আমরা একে অপরকে ভালোবাসি আর যারা কাউকে ভালোবাসেন তাদেরকে জানাই দেওয়া নবী করিম সুন্দর যে আমি আপনাকে ভালোবাসি আর যিনি এই খবর পাবেন তার উত্তর দেওয়া উচিত আহাব্বা কাল্লাহি আহাব চানি ফি আল্লাহ আপনাকে ভালোবাসুক যে আল্লাহর কারণে আপনি আমাকে ভালোবাসেন الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلة Dear brothers and sisters This is the day of Eid Day to celebrate Day to congratulate each other Congratulations to all of you May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Accept from us all good deeds That we enjoy in the month of Ramadan In the days and nights The good news for those happiness in this day for those whose good deeds been accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whose forgiveness for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Eid the good day and happiness is for the one who has been got salvation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Messenger when he migrated from Mecca to Medina, he saw the people of the Medina celebrate two days in the Medina. In these two days, they used to eat, drink, celebrate and congratulate each other. They used to play different types of playing, which is not bad things. They used to do good. These two days is considered as a Nairuz and Maharjan, these two days. Nairuz and Mehrjan Some ignorant people in the Arabian country Still they celebrate this day Especially in, Me in Misr, in Egypt I saw myself, they cele celebrate Mehrjan Listen to the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam What he said He said, what is this two day that you celebrate? The people of the Medina replied This is our eight day happiness That we show our happiness We celebrate and congratulate each other and we play in these days. Rasulullah Sallallahu said, قَدْ أَبْدَلَكُمُ اللَّهُ بِخَيْرٍ مِّنْهُمَا يَوْمًا يَوْمًا عِيدِ الْفِتْرِ وَيَوْمًا عِيدِ الْأَضْحَى Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala exchange, change these two days and replace these two days with better, with better today which is the Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. That means for the believers, The Eid only within these two Eids, within the year, yearly annual Eid to celebrate, <coughs> to rejoice, to show happiness, to welcome each other, to forgive each other, to love each other, to handshake each other, to do Mu'anaq and Musafa of each other, to visit our relatives, to forgive them, those who may misbehave to owe us. This is the Eid Allah gave after the righteous action that we we did in the month of Ramadan and another righteous action by sacrificing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave these two days Allah changed these two days of the jahili with this better the Muslimun if they celebrate any other days in their land by the name of culture by the name of anything else that will be rejected my dear brothers and sisters the Eid day is not merely Eid only celebrations that people they do other religion they do <coughs> because they separated happiness from their religion. They considered religion is something and happiness is something else. But in Islam, my dear brothers and sisters, everything in your religion, including happiness, worshiping Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, is all is one package, complete code of life. 
even my dear brothers and sisters, the food that you bring to your house for the sake of your family, and you help your family, this also consider as ibadah worshiping, because you do for the sake of Allah. So everything in Islam, my dear brothers, is ibadah, is worshiping as long as you do to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no separate things that you have to do by the name of your culture. <coughs> Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he, in one of the precise comments, he explained the happiness for who is the happiness today. In the Eid day, remember, my dear brothers and sisters, Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Khalifa al Muslimin, such a righteous person on the whole planet. We cannot compare ourselves with these kind of people. He himself in the Eid day was eating from a bread which is so hard. It's not soft bread. It's not so beautiful and bread that you can enjoy. A person came to him and said, Ya Ali, هذا يوم العيد. This is the day of Eid. Why you are eating from this hard bread? He said, Eid لمن تقبل الله صلاته وصيامه وقيامه وتوبته. Eid happiness today is for the one whose siyam, whose qiyam, whose salah, whose all good deeds in the month of Ramadan been accepted by Allah. For him yesterday, actually the day to rejoice and to show happiness. وليس العيد لمن لبس الجديد. Eid happiness is not for the one who only wear the good dress, new dress. But inside is still hypocrisy. Inside is still all evil. Inside is still nifaq. Inside is still riya showing off. Inside is there's a major sins. Inside is minor sins. Inside he shows something, but in reality, he is not with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is not the righteous person. وَلَكِنَّ الْعِيدُ لِمَنْ طَاعَتُهُ تَزِيدُ The real happiness, the real Eid, for the one whose good deeds increases day after day. Ramadan, he used to engage himself with good deeds, with Qiyamul Layl, with Tilawatul Quran. After Ramadan, it increases. It doesn't decrease. It doesn't decrease. It always increases. Now, what is the condition of us? Now, you yourself can evaluate very well whether today is Eid for you or not. Just by questioning a simple question, did I make myself present before Allah today Fajr which is the obligatory for the Salah although this one not obligatory one for not for the one this this Eid is the wajib but that one is the first now I can understand whether I can actually be happy or I should be sad and cry for Allah <coughs> Eid means happiness means we forgive each other forgiveness is a such quality the quality of the Muhsinun, the highest level of the believers. The first level of the believers, they are called Muslimun. Second level, they are called Mu'minun. The third level, they are called Muhsinun. Those have the mentality to forgive. Even somebody hurt you, harm you, still you forgive, subhanAllah. And this kind of people is so rare in our society nowadays. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed us, Fasfahu. You forgive each other. Allah to hibbuna ayya ghafir Allahu lakum. You forgive your brothers. You forgive your relatives. Maybe they did something bad to you. Still today, call them, I forgive you. Or go to visit them and say, I forgive you. Allah says, don't you lie that Allah will forgive you? Because the reward of forgiveness is the forgiveness from Allah. You, Bani Adam, forgive someone. Allah will forgive you, subhanAllah. It needs a very wide heart. A pure heart is required for that kind of the iman and the level. <coughs> In the day of judgment, one servant of Allah will forgive another. And Allah is there. And Allah will address them. In my kingdom, in my dominion, you forgive. I swear with my majesty and honor, I forgive both of you enter the paradise. Subhanallah. So this is the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today the Eid happiness means we love each other for the sake of Allah. And it is sunnah. If you love someone, you tell them in front of them, I love you for the sake of Allah. Inni uhibbuka fillah. I love you for the sake of Allah. The one you tell this, he should reply to you, Ahabbaka Allahu alladhi ahabbaktani fi. Allah also love you for the sake of who you loved me. Beautiful hadith, my dear brothers. 
if we in the Bukhari, I would try to conclude my khutbah by this. Because nowadays, Wallahi, one of the things that we severely and seriously and greatly in need of is loving each other. Rasulullah s.a.w. in one of the hadith he said, La tu'minu hatta tahabu. You cannot be believer until you love each other. It's not possible. We cannot be believer unless we love each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَفَلَا أَدُلُّكُمْ إِذَا فَعَلْتُمْ تَحَابَبْتُمْ Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving us a way out or way technique how to love each other. How to create this love within us. He says, should not I tell you a technique if you follow inshallah. The love will be created within yourself. أَفْشُ السَّلَامَ بَيْنَكُمْ Spread salam within you. Now salam became something. People, some people, they give salam out of fear. Like in our country, if somebody says the minister, minister or chairman in the area, he gives salam. He's scared of maybe he will do something wrong with you if you don't give salam to him. <coughs> salam became for the sake of ma'rifah. The one you know, you give salam only. All the hadith says what? As-salamu ala man arifta wa man lam ta'arif. Give salam the one you know and the one you don't know. Subhanallah. Even if you're confused, if could, there could be someone disbelievers still you give salam unless you are sure then give salam still say assalamu ala man ittaba al huda salam on the one who has followed the guidance so you get the condition if you see a brother outside of the masjid give salam it's not someone has to have the tufi, tupi and the punjabi imam sahab then you give only salam which is the common in our society only <coughs> or you see the murubi sasa you give salam only to everybody, subhanAllah, salam has been oppressed by us. Salam itself been oppressed by us. We are oppressing salam of Rasulullah SAW that he introduced to us. Everyone we give salam, subhanAllah. You meet the brother here, they give salam. And then again you come back from other doors, you meet same brother, give salam. Again you go somewhere else, you see the brother, give salam, my dear brothers. Nowadays if you do, people will say you are crazy. What, what problem with him? Why is he doing that? something like that? Wallah, his sunnah became now something so strange. To revive this sunnah, we need Wallah, my dear brother, sacrifice from ourselves. Giving salam means you are doing dua to him. Subhanallah. Peace be upon you. Allah's blessings and barakah be upon you. We have to feel these things. <coughs> so the love is the main key point for the Muslim ummah. We see, I personally witness, subhanAllah, last few days when I've been in Irtikaf for few days in the Mecca. So, mashallah, millions and the millions of the people as the Prophet described. But the different tribes and nations from the whole world will come try to kill Muslim Ummah, killing really. They said, Ya Rasulullah, will we be in this day very few in numbers to know your number will be huge, like a foam of the ocean. But the problems in you, your Iman has no effect in you. You love the dunya and you dislike to die. This is the nature of the Muslim Ummah nowadays. The character is so less. MashaAllah, people doing salah, crying before Allah. Same person, subhanAllah, when it is the time of iftar. <coughs> and the brothers from the Arab brothers, they are providing iftar. Like he himself wants all iftar. Just grabbing all these things with him. Stinginess and misery. For him, greediness, these things. The akhlaq, very akhlaq, is subhanallah, is very rare to find. Mashallah, you can find someone very righteous in terms of doing ibadah. Doing lots of ibadah. 